And you've also mentioned that one of the great things that happened um, at Lululemon was writing down your goals and then making yourself accountable for them as well. Yeah, it's it's an incredible thing when you write down your goals. It's mm. it can be it can be fairly easy to write them down and be like, okay, this is what I want. I'm going to write it down. But one thing that I found was really challenging for everyone and myself included was actually saying them out loud. Yes. Say, this is what I want. Mm. Because a lot of people you find when they're saying them, like I went, I was very lucky to go to uh, Whistler one year when uh, after I'd finished working at Lululemon, um, I was an ambassador for a year and I went with a girl from Melbourne to Whistler mm -hmm. and <clears throat> we were surrounded by ambassadors from all over the world, well, Canada, US, and we were thrown all these tools at us over these three days in mm -hmm. beautiful Whistler for being entrepreneurs in the fitness industry. And we had this great session with this woman called Suzanne Conrad and she basically works for Lululemon to de develop managers and to help you find clarity around what it is you actually want to do with your life and to be the most authentic version of yourself. She's a wonderful, wonderful woman. And so she held the space for people to do goal setting, a whole hundred yeah. of us. And randomly people would come up onto stage and she'd say, okay, what's your five-year goal or what's your biggest, scariest, you know, they call it a BHAG, big, hairy, audacious goal. What's that big one for you? And so many people close down and can't say it. Wow. Because it's, it feels like such a big deal to put that out there and to be that vulnerable to say, this is actually my heart. This is what I want to do, but I don't know if I'm worthy of it. Yeah, yeah. Because once you say and it, it's you like a bell that can't be unrung. You've said it, right? Yeah, you've said it. If you say it and you own it without asking for permission, well, that changes everything. Because mm -hmm. mm. then your actions have to line up with your words. A lot of the time when um, I feel like I haven't been heard, it's because I've expressed myself, yet my actions haven't been in alignment with my words. Mm. Those little compromises, like I said, that are those little paper cuts to your soul. Like, yeah. oh, I haven't said, I've compromised on that. Yep. Yep. Mm. Yep. That's right. And what's your daily practice? Because I know that this is important to you and I know that um, it is life changing for you. What's your daily practice at the moment? What do you do? Yeah. So I always say that daily practice and ritual is like deep reverence for yourself, mm. you know, setting up that, 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 that practice every day that reminds you to for me, it's being still. So every morning when I wake up, I go and brush my teeth, have a glass of water or have a hot tea. And then within that first 10 minutes, I'll sit on my bed, set up my cushions and I'll meditate mm -hmm. for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that's my key ritual in the morning. And then I'll meditate again at about three o'clock. So around about now-ish, I'm due for another little dive dip into that meditation. So for me, the, the ritual that's most important is stillness. Mm. I think it's the most underrated, underrated practice that, mm. we, that we do these days. Um, yeah, that's that. it. Yeah, mm. it's not just it. It's great. It's wonderful. Mm. I think that's really, really wonderful. And tell mm. us where to find you and what your favorite way of connecting to your new students is. Okay, well, everyone can come to Flow Athletic, take a class for sure. The website is flowathletic.com.au. And so I love that sort of, I was saying before, the one-on-one -on -one connection, having people in my classroom. I love filling this space with people. I love it. The more, the better. I love there's uh, There's something about being in a room with a bunch of people, whether I'm practicing with them or teaching, leading yeah. the class and hearing people breathe in unison and move in unison, that just gives me goosebumps. Mm -hmm. And I also, Instagram, Active Yogi. So yes. just having those little comments, start to communicate on there. And, and the reason why I love Instagram is because there'll be a little comment and then I can click on that person and look at them and put a face to the name. So it's amazing, you know, isn't it? Ways for us to communicate these days. So, um, but they're my two little favorite ones. I love, I love. Thank you for joining us today, Kate. I really, really appreciate it. And your beautiful words of wisdom. I appreciate you sharing them. Thank you. Thanks for having me. No, oh, my pleasure.